He's giving us more reasons to talk about him, guys. Let's talk a little bit briefly about Cole Lind, because tonight the Kelowna Rockets played the Prince George Cougars in a 7-6 loss. Prince George, they low-key exposed the Rockets and their goaltending. The goaltending for the Rockets definitely wasn't at the pace that everyone thought it should have been in terms of WHL games and everything, but I digress. Cole Lind in this one gets himself a natural hat trick in the first period, and that's pretty cool. It's pretty good for him. Another solid performance by Cole Lind. Let's go over a few of his goals. I'll leave a link down in the description to one thread on Twitter posted by Ryan Bache, and he has gifts of all of Cole Lind's points in the most recent game. He's not on the point streak anymore. The most previous game before this one, he had zero points, and his long point streak of like however many games, I think it was like 15 or something, it was broken. So now he's just another normal dud, quote-unquote, but in this game he gets himself four points, a hat-trick, and a natural one at that. Let's look at first his first goal of the game. This one was assisted by Gordy Ballhorn as well as Dylan Dubé, his 33rd of the season. Lind is able to get the puck at the goal line at the far corner. Then he does his magic, skates right through the face-off circle, pulls it over, takes a shot. It's in the net. We've seen this a lot. His shot is really accurate in this league, and it's another deadly one from him. Going over to his 34th of the year, also assisted by the same two guys, Ballhorn and Dubé. This one was pretty good. He's got the puck. He's coming down on the rush. He circles back on the hash marks a little bit. Puck bobbles around a little bit, and it finds its way back to him. And he propels it forward really, really nicely. It's in the net. That is his second goal of the game, number 34 for this Canucks prospect. And then the third goal of the game. This one, a natural hat trick, as I said, so it's three straight goals. A really good snapshot upon receiving the puck at the faceoff circle, circling over to the high slot. He rips it home, and this one was goal number 35 for him. Of course, he gets an assist later. He throws it across to Bruggen Kate, and that's in the net. But overall, the Rockets, they did lose this one, so that's kind of unfortunate. But at the same time, you know, Colin is getting up there in terms of points and everything. And this specific game wasn't necessarily the most dominating. I know it's kind of weird to say because he only he had oh, he only had three goals. But like in terms of like overall play and everything, he had four shots, which, you know, that's pretty good. Three of them went in, but we've seen a lot of games where he's gotten like way more. So I'm not saying that this is necessarily his best performance. And that's kind of scary, because if I can sit here and say that Cole Lind, with three goals and an assist, wasn't necessarily his best performance, then we know we got a good player on our hands. If we want to take a look at the overall WHL point rankings, Cole Lind is down there, he is 10th, and he was at, I believe, like 15th or something before this game today, but four points later, he's up here at 10th with 35 goals, 50 assists, 85 total points in a whopping 51 games played. If you want to do the math, that is a 1.6 points per game, and if you round it up, it's 1.7. He's a really good player, guys, and I can't wait. Of course, he's not first in the WHL. Glenn Godwin with 119 points at 63 games playing for Swift Current. He's absolutely killing it, but Cole Lind, 51 games played. He's got probably the lowest amount of games played in this top 10 aside from Tylen Steenbergen and Alexi Heponiemi. Lind is doing really well, and this was another solid performance. It's just that the goaltending, you know, like, it's the goaltending. In this specific game, I'm not saying that their goaltending is crap because, like, it does have really good shining moments, but this specific game, it was a loss, and you gotta think, like, what was the morale of the Rockets in this one? Because Prince George just exposed the goaltending, according to WHL fans that I was talking to. But, yeah, Cole Lind, he's back at it again with the high multi-point games, gets himself a hat-trick and an assist in this one. We're looking forward to seeing him in Canucks colors come next season, probably. Maybe Utica Comets colors a few years down the line. I have no idea. I have no idea. But as we watch him in the WHL, the best we can do is just sit here and ponder at how well he's playing. Because he's playing really well. 
1.7 points per game. We took him in the second round, guys. This is a good player. You're supposed to go in the first round. I can't believe it that we have him in our possession. I love Cole Lind, man. He's definitely one of those guys who's giving us more reason to talk about him, and he keeps on putting stellar performances, and if he continues that, we're just going to have more reason to talk about him. I'll leave a link down to Ryan Bates' thread on his Twitter so you guys can watch all the points that he got in the most recent game. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video tour of Paul Simpson's Nostra Trolls, like Nostra Trolls, and Gaming, and bye. <laughs>